Hello, Metaworking Nation. Jim here. Welcome to another episode of Making Chips TV. My mission is to equip and inspire you with more relevant tips exclusively for you, the manufacturing community. Thank you for tuning in. On this episode, I want to discuss tips for interviewing for a manufacturing job. It's imperative that you take this seriously as this is going to be your livelihood. The way you present yourself is extremely powerful and it will significantly help in you winning that position. You'll be in front of senior level executives and you'll need to impress him or her. Here are my personal tips on how to make the best out of your interview. Number one, so easy, show up on time or even early. It's disrespectful to have your interviewer be waiting on you and immediately it sets the tone for the interview. Additionally, you're giving the impression that you don't have good time management skills and in this business, punctuality is paramount. Two, have good hygiene. What does that mean? It's simple. It means you need to be freshly showered, you need to wear deodorant, have clean teeth, have your hair combed, and very important, have fresh breath. I remember about 15 years ago an insurance agent came in to solicit me. His breath was so offensive I couldn't even focus on what he was saying. I wanted out the door as soon as possible. I know this seems like a simple thing that most of us take for granted, but you'd be surprised at how some people show up for their interviews. By the way, I always carry a small to-go size of mouth spray before going into meetings. Three. Dress for success. Listen, we're not interviewing for an executive position. You're interviewing for a manufacturing job. You don't need to wear a suit or a tux, but what you do need is to have on clean, unwrinkled clothes without holes that fit you appropriately. If you're a guy and you wear earrings, just make sure that they're not excessive. I know it's your personal brand, but if you show up for an interview with two inch diameter gauges in your ear, it's gonna be a huge distraction for the interviewer. Four, don't swear. Leave it out of the interview. We talked about this in an earlier episode, and hey, I get it, that manufacturing and swearing go hand in hand, but when you first meet your interviewer, you need to maintain as much professionalism as possible. If you start dropping F-bombs, it's going to brand you as an offensive person. If you really need to swear, keep it outside of the work environment. And at the end of the day, you don't want to offend anyone. Five, and lastly, state the facts. What I mean is don't fill the conversation with frivolous dialogue. Share your accreditations, your skills, and everything positive about you. It's your time to shine. Keep the personal stuff out of the conversation unless you're asked and then keep it to a bare minimum. Hey, those are just a few examples of how to amp up your interview techniques. Remember, you need to differentiate yourself from the competition. You want to win that great job, so fight for it. I trust I inspired you just a little bit more and gave you some better interviewing tips. Believe me, this is huge, it's really important. If you like the series, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button so you get the latest updates on our next episode. You can always call Making Chips, 312-725-0245. Leave us a message. I promise I'll get back with you. Or send me an email at jim at makingchips.com. And don't forget my dad's mantra. If you're not making chips, you're not making money. Bam.